everybody welcome back to barber dave's barbershop at home and i'm not quite sure if i've done a shave with this razor before uh, but we're going to try that but before we get started look right up here don't forget to check out some of my buddies who also do shaving and whiskey videos and everything else uh, the first one will be uh, nurse dave's shaving world and then of course shaving with rich so please check them out you'll see the links up there as well okay so the shave today is going to be with probably the most intimidating razor i have and this includes straights, shavettes, everything else. And that is a 1924 shovel head razor with a gem blade. It's a gem style razor, but it's very beautiful as far as the art deco. But look at that blade gap. It's huge. Now it does have a protection comb, but I call this the snow shovel. Um, and it's very intimidating because you have to do it a certain way. I don't know if I've done a video with it before, but we don't know how this is going to end up. Uh, to do the rest of our kind of vintage shave today, we're going to be using a classic Palmolive shave stick. Very fresh, um, very, very nice, uh, plus the convenience of a shave stick. For the brush, we're going to be using a bore today, and we're going to be using the Samog 620, one of the oldest bore brushes I have. Uh, for the... Um, after shave, we're going to be using a vintage Aqua Velva Sport. This bottle, the, the juice inside is not uh, vintage, but the uh, jar was given to me by Matt over at the Shaving Cadre a few Christmases ago on another site. So this is a cherished bottle that I have. And then for the EDT, I know they've been talking about complimentary scents on the Shaving Cadre, and I'm going to be using Canoe. So let's see how this goes. Not sure. Over on the cadre, tonight's going to be a game night. So with the shaving stick, real simple, just kind of, and I've done a, a few videos on shave stick lathering. And basically you just spread the soap around and I get it a little bit wetter if you want to put a little bit more soap on. And it kind of works as a pre-shave too, which is kind of cool. And then once you're done with that, just take your pre-moistened brush and start going to town. The palm olive falls into that category of fresh, soapy scents. So Mitchell's Wool Fat. Um, oh God, there's a bunch of other ones. But just a nice, soapy scent. Uh, Williams. And as I said, the benefit of the shave sticks is that you throw them in your dot bag when you're traveling and still get a nice, luxurious shave without having to take the goop along with you. And the pomade lathers really, really well. Nice and creamy. A little bit more water. Okay. Now well, let's see how this goes. As I said, this this razor um, intimidates me more than a than a straight. And you have to really keep it really that flat edge of the shovel. You really need to keep it up against your face. And if you have any moles on your face, it will take them off. I liken this razor to a meat slicer that you see in the deli. Mm 
for the most part, if you respect it, it'll treat you pretty well. Curves are an issue. And that angry follicle from yesterday is showing its ugly head. The only time that you don't is when you're coming up under node. Where the blade exposure is the worst. Well, so far so good. And somebody had asked yesterday where to get the uh, TSC official shaving shirts. Um, if you go on to the Shaving Cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com, and I believe it's in general. Um, I know there's a link to it um, by my journals. Uh, this is a members-only shirt. Um, but you'll see, I think in the general section, you'll see a post from Chad, a C. Vargo, called TSC Swag. And it's through our store, and you can get all sorts of TSC memorabilia. Also with this razor, it's the lightest of touch. And you can adjust your angle a little bit, but not too much. I think that's the one reason why it scares me more than a straight razor. the injuries that you can get with this thing are epic. I think uh, uh, Major Rich had an issue one time where it cut him pretty good. And the gem blades are very, uh, very stiff. They uh, don't flex very much, so they're very unforgiving. Well, so far, so good. I do think that I'm going to get a little bit of alum burn based on what I'm seeing or what I'm feeling, but we'll see. Like I said, this razor is just scary. But fun to use. But one thing I have noticed with this and a lot of single edge blades, make sure your face is wet before you touch down. Because I've noticed if your angle's off just a little bit, this razor will stall.
and um, it will eat. Cleanup's a little interesting with it. I really don't do any buffing per se. I'll adjust the angle a little bit and that's about it. Okay, I think this blade's going off a little bit. But there we have it, no blood, sorry guys. Wouldn't quite call this BBS, but it's uh, better than DFS. Well, not as bad as I thought, which tells me that either I got it right or the blade's going off a little bit. And based on the shave, yeah, I think the blade's going off a little. Because I haven't changed that blade in a while. Because I don't use the razor that often. Well, not too bad, all things considered. And today, since we're doing kind of vintage, we're going to be using the Thayer's Cucumber. Very nice, fresh. If you like cucumber water, you'll love this. Let that dry down a little bit. And if you're interested in the shaving cautery, I know I say it every video, come check us out. We'd love to have you as a member, and that's www.theshavingcadre.com. Lots of good people, lots of good things going on besides just shaving. Uh, we have uh, quite a number of the fair sex that have joined us, uh, either through their husbands or their interest in uh, traditional shaving, so that's a good thing. So again, for the brush, we used a Samogue 620 bore. For the razor, we used a gem blade with the 1924 shovel head is what I call it, but a nice ever-ready razor. And then for the aftershave, once again, we're gonna be using the Aqua Velva Sport. which is just wonderful stuff. Hopefully with Christmas coming, we'll be able to find those gift packs again, which were most of us got them. Uh, since we're doing vintage again, we'll be using the Men in Shave Talc. And it looks like it's gonna be another cloudy day. Yeehaw, smoky day in London town. And if your barber's not doing this after your shave or after your haircut, because he should, your barber should be shaving you when you get your haircut, even if you get a fade or any, he should be shaving you down here, through here, down your neck, and then in the back, and then should finish that with some uh, balm or some aftershave and powder. That seals everything up and makes you feel really, 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 really good. Okay, and for the EDT, once again, we'll be using a canoe. Another vintage, not as good as it used to be since Dana took over, but it's still not bad. A lot of people say it smells a lot like Panad Clubman. I don't really get that. I think it's a little sweeter, but it's definitely a, a vintage barbershop scent overall. So, well, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining us at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. We hope you have a great week, and we'll probably see you again next week. Appreciate the comments. If you like what you see, click on the... Um, Barber pull with the cowboy hat to subscribe. And then if you'd like to get notifications, ring the bell. And again, join us on The Shaving Cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.